Why is this shot safer than this shot? Intuitively, it makes sense. No one should be able to slap the ball like that and make it. But what is the physics behind your intuition? Well, it's because of something called impulse, which is fancy physics lingo for change in momentum. An easy way to calculate the change in an object's momentum is by subtracting the initial momentum from the final momentum of the system, which is another way to say the objects that we are studying, and in this case, it's the tennis ball. Momentum is equal to the mass of the object multiplied by its velocity. The mass of the tennis ball stays constant in both of the cases, before or after being hit. If we assume the velocity at which the ball comes towards each of the players is the same, give or take a few miles per hour, then the initial momentums in both of cases are the same as well. After the ball is hit, its mass stays the same, but its velocity is clearly greater when the second player hits it, meaning that the final momentum, and thus the impulse of the ball, is greater for the second player. Remember that the initial momentums were equal. Now, another way we can calculate impulse is by multiplying the net force on the tennis ball by the amount of time that that force was applied on the tennis ball. The first player stuck with the ball, making the amount of time he was in contact with the ball greater, and thus allowing him to exert less force when hitting the ball. The fact that he stays with the ball longer gives him the ability to almost caress the ball into the court. The second player hits the ball really quickly and has to put a lot more force into the shot, not giving him the opportunity to brush the ball into the court. Though his shot was in, he gave himself no room for error. 